Welcome to the ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings and the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this snapshot, we're speaking with James Iverson, industry analyst at ABI Research. James will answer key questions about his latest report on generative AI use cases in manufacturing. Welcome, James. Hey, Deb, and thank you for having me. One of the headlines from your report is that the strategic development of generative AI in manufacturing will unlock $10.5 billion of added revenue by 2033. Why is that? The excitement around generative AI in manufacturing comes from the building out of potential use cases, scaling from creating new designs to ultimately overhauling entire production processes. Manufacturers will be able to tie investments in generative AI to additional revenues with a significant spike of US $4.4 billion from 2026 to 2029. By 2033, revenue added from the use of generative AI in manufacturing will reach US $10.5 billion. How will that growth be realized? Generative AI has growth that will derive from functionality and use cases across market verticals. The deployment of generative AI will come in three waves as the technology matures, with manufacturing seeing the largest revenue growth during the second and third waves. During the second and third waves of adoption, generative AI will be deployed into four domains of manufacturing, design, engineering, production, and operations. What will be the fastest mainstream deployment of generative AI in manufacturing? Design will see the fastest mainstream deployment with use cases such as generative design and MBOM, manufacturing bill of materials, as well as EBOM, electrical bill of materials, reductions having already existing solution offerings from companies such as Siemens and Microsoft. Engineering, production, and operational use cases will take longer and will require further maturity from generative AI providers due to the complexity of the tasks and the required model training. Oh, can you give us an idea of the use cases of in the four domains? Use cases for generative AI manufacturing can be compared by looking at expected TTV, times of value, and ROI, return on investment. For the four domains, top performers are generative design and part consolidation for design, toolpath optimization and part nesting for engineering, product root cause analysis, as well as correction of bugged software code for production, inventory stock and purchasing period management, along with employee work path optimization for operations. Do you have any strategic recommendations for manufacturers looking into adding generative AI to those domains? Starting from the ground up, implementing these use cases will lay the groundwork for more extensive use cases in the future. It is important not to jump the gun and develop high functioning use cases that will see little implementation as trust in generative AI will need to be built up before overhauling significant portions of a current manufacturing operation. Thanks so much, James. For a deeper dive into our full PT2763 report, Generative AI Use Cases in Manufacturing, visit abiresearch.com.